Hello everybody, this is All South Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the previous episode, we continued following the instructions of our mysterious ex, and which has led us to discover that Grubba and perhaps Jolie know more about the Crystal Star than either are letting on. Not that they were letting anything on to begin with. Anyways, time to get out of this little storage space. Wow. Nothing else to really do but head on back and... Keep on fighting. Let's see, who are we up against next? Craw Daddy. Hmm. Not too sure who that would be. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fix him for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Rank 3 in the Glitz Pit. Craw Daddy! Now listen, son, in this battle I want you to not attack for the first three turns, okay? Fans love when the heroes make them sweat a bit. Am I right or am I right? Now get in there and bring home the bacon. Mr. Gonzalez, it's time for your next match. Come with me. Ah, one of these guys. For our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the Grey Gonzalez, and the Dark Gatekeeper. Yep, a fight to the finish with Crawl Daddy. You think you can take me on Gonzalez? Ha! Foolish mortals, I will drag you through the gate to the netherworld. Oof, talk about an edgelord. Don't attack in the first three turns. Something tells me this guy's gonna be a lot more powerful than the guy, uh, than the guy we fought back in... Rogueport. So, Dark Craw, max HP of 20, attack of 6. Yikes! I'm hoping using abilities like Koops's, uh... Shell Shield won't count as an attack. Alright, so first three turns, cannot attack. I'm just gonna defend then, and use Goops' Shell Shield. I <sighs> guess we'll find out. Alright. Actually, you know what, let's stick with Koops. Oh, somebody threw something at us. Okay, now that we can attack, let's hit him with everything we got. Been a while since we used Koops, ever since getting Danny. Alright, one more round of this. Eh, not enough for a level up. We got ourselves a winner, the Grey Gonzalez. We won? Cool. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You received 14 coins. Mario's ranking rose to three. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going.
Ooh. This is your last warning. Stop snooping around about the Crystal Star. If you don't, you'll suffer the same fate as the others who have gone missing. Oh gosh, this guy again? He really seems to know a whole lot of stuff. Those missing fighters, the Crystal Star. You know, if we find this guy, we'll have all the answers. But who could it be? Wow, way to go, baby! You gotta block out how much better you- I gotta block out how much better you are than me. My father, the business bro, is in the audience today. He worries about me getting hurt doing this kind of work. I can't let him see me lose. If things are going badly, knock him on his back, okay? When I think something's cool, I always say it's spiketastic. It might catch on. I will redouble my training. Right, you do that. Alright, rest up. Just in case we have to fight Dark Craw again, because Koops' shell shield did count as an attack. Nope, it didn't. Rank 2 in the Glitz Pit, Chomp Country. Now listen, son, in this battle I want you to avoid using any items. Empty them pockets. Real men don't need no trinkets to help them hand out a proper whooping, you hear? Now get in there and knock some heads the old-fashioned way, will ya? Pardon me, Mr. Gonzalez. Another gift arrived from one of your admirers. I'll just leave it over here, if that's okay. Do with it what you will. Ah, another cake! Whoa, free cake is where it's at! Let's chow down! Eat the cake? No. Gonzalez, you're nuts! Who says no to free cake? Did you hit your head? You do not want to eat this cake. Trust me. Mr. Gonzalez, it's time for your next match. Come with me. For our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and... The Red Orb, Fear Orbs, yep, yeah, I fight till I finish with Chomp Country. Let me at him, yeah, bring it! You ready for a beating? Arf, 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 arf! Get yourselves ready to battle! Don't use any items. That shouldn't be too difficult for us. Let's see. Red Chomps. Let's see what they're all about. Red Chomps. Max HP of 6. Attack of 5. Defense of 3. So these guys are going to be difficult if you haven't been boosting your attack. Thankfully, we have been. Matter of fact, I think my normal hammer will be just enough to finish him off. More than just enough. And we get a very special level up. Let's see. I'm thinking just because we've got Danny now and he's a very FP heavy guy. We should probably boost our FP. But after that, I think we're going to focus on BP for a while. Mario became a B-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage will get bigger. Yeah, every 10 levels or so, we get a better stage and a bigger audience. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. <laughs> How'd that floor taste? Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You received 15 coins. Mario's ranking rose to two. Now if you'll excuse me, I must be going.
By the way, Gonzalez, you see the dude on the floor back here? Our body went numb. Stupid cake. Hate cake. Never eat cake again. Was that cake poisoned? Yeah, if Mario cho if we chose to eat the uh, cake, our partner, in this case Danny, would have eaten it first. And before Mario can eat it, his partner will feel sick. That means that your next fight will be alone. Thankfully, we didn't eat it. And it was, it was a good thing because... I'm not saying we wouldn't have won, but it would have been a much more difficult fight. Yeah, it must have been. If we didn't eat, we'd be all banged up like that guy. Oof, poor shell shocks. Legs like grape jelly shell shaking. Hate you, cake. Hate you. I don't hate the cake. Hate the guy who poisoned it. Start to lose confidence when your rank doesn't go up. Know what I mean, man? But hey, I've come this far, so I can't stop now. I have to fight for all the Koopas who helped me get here. I have to, man. Just between you and me, sometimes I have nightmares that my spike fell off. You. How dare you interfere with my meditation. Time is too precious to squander on one such as you. That's weird, I thought I was earning your respect. Now, uh, is Shellshock still out? Yeah, he is. Well, next up is just one fight between us and the champ, the Koopanator. The spike guy we've been talking to, and the one that the Rockhawk was beating up when we first arrived. Boy, how to Gonzalez fixing for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, let me just see here. Your next opponent will be ranked one in the Glitz Pit. The Koopanator. Now listen, son, in this battle I want you to avoid using any of them their special moves. I think the crowd's craving a nice long battle at its simplest and finest. Now get in there and don't go a grandstanding. Mr. Gonzalez, it's time for your next match. Come with me. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Grey Gonzalez, and the Razor Blade Brigadier. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Koopanator. Let me at him. Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? You. Finally, I get a piece of you. Finally, we'll see who's truly stronger. Get yourselves ready to battle! And as you can see, we now have a bigger stage and can hold a lot more people. There's more to it, but we'll have to get into that later. Now then, D, -Koopa, D -Koopa Patrol, which I can only guess means Dark Koopa Patrol. Max HP, 25, attack of 5, defense of 2. And, of course, he's got a spike on his head, so be careful for that. Shouldn't be too difficult for us. Now, of course, a bigger audience does mean we can get more stars, but we also gotta build that audience up. Yeah, he's doomed. Well, 
We got ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Received 15 coins. Mario's ranking rose to one. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Ding, ding, ding! Mail call! You think it's from our pal or the guy who hates us? Now, yeah, 50 50 shot. Remove the great Gonzalez posters from the lobby. From X. From X this time, huh? That guy still sounds like a nut, but hey, he's all we got. What's he want us to do again? Peel off your posters in the lobby? Sounds good to me. Let's hit the lobby. Yes, let's. And yes, yeah, something I didn't show off, but our posters are all over the lobby. Imagine somebody's pretty damn jealous of that. Let's see, how's your mind state, and if you were a jungle animal, what noise would you make? Interesting. Let's see, you'll be champ soon, don't tell, but I'm rooting for you. Great mustache! Are you gonna beat Rockhawk and then Prince Mush? Get pumped, Danny. The title match is coming up. I'm pulling for you all the way, Danny. Yeah, give him heck. Anyways, if we want to peel these off, we're gonna need to bring out Flurry for a bit. And yeah, we gotta peel all of them off. One by one. Oh, hello, who's this lovely lady? Well, hello there, you large, lovely tiger -a man You're fantastic, dear. The gossips have it that you've made some headway in the Major League. But I doubt you can beat Rockhawk, you poor thing. You're simply too stringy. The only man for me is the one wearing that shiny belt. Toodaloo. Oh, another photographer. Freelance cameraman here. You know, Rockhawk spends like days in the bathroom. I don't know what he does in there, but I do know this. I need a scoop like that. Gross. Ah. Hmm. And here I was led to believe you had to go through all of the posters. Whatever could that key be for? Go to the second floor of the storage room from X. Okay then. Well, at least we got one poster left up there. Yes, we're going back to the storage room, my friends. Well, I believe we can actually get... Well, not the last, but one of the last... Stars, uh, star pieces. I believe it's gotta be... Where is it? You know, not it. I think we need to take this block out if we want to get to it. Whoa! You gotta be kidding me! Andy Andy and King K! Gone. Gone. Gonzalez, listen to me, man. Don't get near the ring when no one is around. Ugh. Come on, shake it off, buddy. 
What do you mean, don't go near the ring? King K is just out. But we found a star piece. I, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Uh. Jolene. Gonzalez, you see that? That was Jolene. This is craziness. What is going on in here? Of course, we're not going to be able to find her, so... Well, we found where the missing fighters have kept disappearing to. We got no clue what to do with them. Can't really go reporting it, or... We might, well... Find ourselves in the same position. Can't go trusting Grubba. He seems to know a little too much about the Crystal Star. And Jolene, well, we can never find her. What's it like knowing you're so close to the top, huh? Don't get a big head, baby. You know, I'm actually a little jealous of your hammer. I mean, your skill. But forget skill. I'm gonna try harder than you and become champ anyway. You fight on, Mr. Gonzalez. I'm gonna keep fighting too. You, should you ever face me again, you will know the pain of utter defeat. Right, well, I highly recommend we rest up. Not just because it's a smart thing to do, but because we got our fight coming up. Now, I will say this. I highly, highly recommend that you have your Quake Hammer equipped. Trust me, you're gonna need it. Alright, nothing else to it. Time to take on the champ. The Great Gonzalez. How to fix him for a fight, huh? <laughs> well, guess what? Your next match is the title match. Ooh-wee, Don Tootin, you're up against the champ Rockhawk. Now I want to see a fair and exciting match, so don't you let me down now, you hear? Now listen, son, in this battle I want you to use at least one special move, okay? crowd needs something flashy. You catch my drift? Give him a good show. And as far as I've seen from experience, it's always going to be him asking for a special move whenever you're up against the Rockhawk. Now get in there and blow the roof off, son. Mr. Gonzalez, it's time for your next match. Come with me. Hold up, dude. Where are you heading? That ain't the way to the arena. Yeah, uh, you go this way this time, because it's a special match. Sure, and I'm sure the Rockhawk hasn't paid you off to delay us so that we get disqualified. Hey, hold it, meathead. This doesn't seem right. You two wait here. Hey, this ain't the ring. It's a minor league locker room, and it's empty. Like I said to wait, but dude, we're missing our title bout. This stinks. Now for today's main event, the top dog of the major league, the great Gonzalez is finally gonna throw down with the champ, the one, the only, Rockhawk! First end of the ring, the feral nuclear reactor, Rockhawk! You go, champ. Rock him. And I couldn't even see what that one said. Ooh, doggies, champ, how you feeling, son? Your challenge is a handful. He don't want a handful of this. Uh-uh. There's only one champ, and it's me. 
Even if this Gonzalez wish ever shows up, what's he gonna do, huh? Nothing, brother. Mother Great Gonzalez made it to the top of the major leagues faster than anyone ever. He even got up there faster than you did, champ. What you gotta say about that? What do I have to say? <laughs> That's what! Who cares what this guy did to a bunch of chumps? Cause now he gets rocked! Okay, that is it. Nobody's coming for us, man. Hear me? Let's go kick some tail. Ah, oh, weak! Some punks locked us in. We're trapped in here. And now for our challenger, the merciless executioner, the Grey Gonzalez. Hold the phone, folks. What the hell is going on? What happened to the Grey Gonzalez? Ha ha ha! I'll tell you what happened. He fears the rock. Ooh, what a stupefying development, folks. Did the great Gonzalez really turn yellow and head for the hills like a dog? I tell you what, folks, if he don't show up soon, he's going to forfeit the match. Man, this is the worst. We're going to forfeit our match if we don't show. We got to break out of here, man, right now. All right, so yeah, this is your first chance to see the, uh, well, first and only chance to see the minor league locker room. Outside of the fact that there's no secret room on the side, it's pretty much the same. Well, that and this poster. Which, if we get Flurry out, we can blow away. Revealing a secret passage where it looks like the major and minor leaguers meet. Who's to say? You know what? For once. This is a minor league locker room. It's just as gnarly as the one we were in. If you check the lockers or behind the posters, I bet there are stains and graffiti. This is another locker room for major league competitors. It's opposite the other one. Why was there a hidden room behind the lockers anyway? What would it be used for? Mysteries are totally everywhere in the glitz pit. And this bathroom is not occupied. Time for Mario to make use of his plumbing, and yep. Which, I think actually, didn't Nintendo just stop with the whole plumber thing? Eh, who's to say? And yeah, this takes us up here. That was maybe the grossest thing I've ever done. Uh-huh. But let's get to the fight. There's always someone in the bathroom. Creepy. You know, it's kind of necessary to have access to a bathroom now and then. Huh. And somehow it's now occupied. What? Gonzalez? Huh? Don't you have a match right now, baby? Whoa, what's the deal, man? You drop your hammer in the can? I hate doing that. Um, why did you just come out of the toilet? How did you know we came out of the- well, I suppose you could be saying toilet in reference to the bathroom itself. You, Gonzalez, why do you dally here? Your foe awaits. Hmph. Hmph, I say. You're late, Mr. Gonzalez. You better get in there. The crowd is going berserk. Would you just call me? How dare you say that? I did not trick you. I have no idea what you're talking about, but you better check yourself. Yeah, I'd rather check you into the ground. The moment you've been waiting for, folks, the great Gonzalez just entered the arena. Gonzalez, 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 Gonzalez. Looks like we made it, dude. The crowd is loving us. We are stars, baby. Come on. Let's go lay the smack down on that big chicken. Rock, man. Yeah, you the plumber. Gonzalez, you're late. You're late. Just listen to this crowd hoot and holler for the challenger, Greg Gonzalez. 
Will this hammer of hurt and harm be enough to rock the rock hawk socks? Now at long last the battle end all battles is here. Let's keep it clean, boys. Alright, Gonzalez, we're fighting the champ. I'm so fired up! <laughs> you wimp should have stayed locked up, safe and sound. What kind of trash talking are you doing now? Wait, did you get that security guard to lock us in the locker room? You're darn right I did. I also sent you that poison cake, suckers. That's what happens when you mess with me, baby. You meet the pain train. So you're the coward who's been sending nasty emails about the Crystal Star. Huh? I have no idea what you're babbling about now. What's a Crystal Star? Now wait, I don't care! I may not play exactly fair, but I got skills, punks. And now, you're about to meet them all, baby. Prepare to be rocked! Use a special move at least once. Well, may as well. Now then, the Rockhawk, max HP of 40, attack of 4, defense of 0. But that's not gonna matter against the Earth Tremor. Ah. Oh, look, the audience is filled with poonies. Alright, gonna hit him with a mini egg just to drop his attack. Tiny attack power is now dropped. Yep. Now we can just wail on him as much as we want. Ah, I mean, that's kind of star-shaped. Not too shabby. You're better than I thought. This might actually be fun. Don't get your head swelled, though, because you got a ways to go. Check this out. Time to rock! Was that a breeze I felt? All right, next turn I gotta refresh uh, the miniaturization. Are we gonna go through this without seeing the uh, special attack? Okay. It's clear we're not, well, you know what? Let's just defend for a bit. Man, you're kind of annoying. How dare you turn the rock back on the hawk? I should have just taken care of you before the battle. You're getting lazy, I guess. Well, since it's come down to this, I guess I got no choice but to. Yeah, he jumps up onto the gantries, and we can't jump on him. Your only hope to get him down is to hit him with the Quake Hammer. Which also consequently takes him out. No! Oh, and that attack? Uh... He will drop about 10 items that do about 1 damage each. So if you get your timing down, it shouldn't be too difficult. And apparently, drop Shroom. Which allows him to heal. Hmm. I, Rawcock, the champ, the undefeated master, I've lost to such losers. Folks, I feel like my eyes just popped out of my head. We got ourselves a miracle. 
Technique versus technique. Raw power versus raw power. A clash of superhumans. Folks, this was truly, honestly, without a question, no doubt, absolutely, the most legendary, amazing, improbable history making bout of all time. And the victor in this match for the ages was the great Gonzalez. Congratulations, Gonzalez, you're the champion, son. Give him a hand, folks, the new Glitz Pit champ, the great Gonzalez. Well, you finally did it, son. Today's your first day as the new champ. Here's your belt. The champ's belt. You earned when you beat Rockhawk. Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and get you set up in the champ's room right away. Miss Jolene, be a peach and show Gonzalez here to the champion's room, okay? Absolutely, sir. Well then, Mr. Champion, would you follow me, please? Nothing to say, Jolene? To the new champion? Congratulations again, Mr. Champion. From now on, this is where you'll stay. It's your room now, so make yourself at home. You will use the terminal as you always have, of course. Will there be anything else? Well then, have a nice day, Mr. Champion. Yeah, 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 yeah! We finally made it, Gonzalez, but... You know, Rockhawk really sounded clueless about the Crystal Star. We still don't have any leads on that thing. I mean, where the heck could it be? Hang on, Gonzalez. You hear that? The voice is coming from somewhere. You think it's... a ghost? <laughs> hey, do you have to have that thing turned up? That scared me silly. Find the ghost in the champ's room. From X. There's actually a ghost in here? Okay, that is not cool. Ghosts are scary. Welcome to the automated match reservation system. What is your command? Reserve a match? Match reserva reservation privileges for the Great Gonzalez are currently suspended. What's with this crazy talk, huh? Did X do this too? Yeah, the champion's room. It should be noted, the bed here, though we weren't going to get to see it, can actually restore star points. But we're obviously already full, so we're not gonna see that. And I highly, highly recommend you uh, restore yourself. Check it out. Portrait of ourselves on here. Nice. Anyways, nothing else to do. Still a bunch of stuff here, probably left over from Rockhawk. But, jump on the presents, which thank goodness they're here. Whoop. Then we're gonna want to use Danny to float across to the door frame and then float across to here. There we go. Knock that out of the way. We're in the air duct, right? Where does it lead? It leads straight to the office, and why don't we... Why doesn't it connect anywhere else? You know, like to an actual ventilation system? <laughs> well, that's in perfect condition as usual. Yep, as long as I got that baby working for me, this old bot ain't never gonna get weak. But I'm gonna have to watch my tootsies here for a little bit. First, I let that King Cage walk in on me when I was used with that. And now I can't shake the feeling jo that Jolene and Gonzalez are on to me. Well, guess I'll burn that bridge when the time comes. I'll just disappear them. Yep, just like I did to them others. Like I did to Prince Mush, the first champ. That voice, it's Grubba. So he's behind all those missing fighters. I'm better lock this room up tighter in a peanut butter jar at a squirrel convention. And I'll just go ahead and 
had that paper linked to that in the desk drawer. Thank you for expositing us for us here. There we go. You know what, though? Since I'm thinking aloud here, good fighters ain't nothing to mess with. Even Rockhawk lost to Gonzalez. This ch new champ might have to disappear pretty soon. For my sake. All right, Grubber, you son of a gun. Let's chat. And he's not here. I think he's gone. Let's check out that desk drawer of his. Now, first things first. Star piece behind the plant. And before you check out the lower one, which is what we're looking for is, check out the upper drawer for another star piece. Not sure if we have the opportunity to get these later, but just to be on the safe side, grab them now. Whoa, bingo! I bet that's the paper old Grubba hit. Check it out, Mario. Yow! A machine under the ring using a crystal star? These are the blueprints. I don't know what the rest of this nerd talk says, but I think the crystal star powers it. If this paper's right, then the machine can suck the power out of people. Yuck! Oh, crud. You think that King K and Bandy Andy got all drained or something? Great galloping gulpits! How in town nation did you get in here, son? Well, slap me and call me Sassafras. Slap! Sassafras! You're staring at my secret paper, too. Shut up, you make me sick. Why'd you drink, drink King Cam Bandy Andy, huh? Whoa, no, this ain't good. After him, Gonzalez. Yeah, can't let him get away. Mr. Grubba, he just ran by at about Mach 6. I think he went to the ring. Well, unfortunately... We cannot, or we do not have time for this, because obviously the final boss fight's coming up, and um, we just don't have enough time for it. So I'm going to have to leave this on a cliffhanger here, because also there's obviously a lot of story that's going to come afterwards as well. So yeah, I'm going to have to end things off there for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for an upload, or to hit the straw poll link to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.